Warner Brothers? Are we in the right theater? Oh! Somebody stop me from saying somebody stop me! Paul Stevens and Claudette Nevins in Even Stevens Nevins. My name is Jim Moran. I have just returned from a trip around the world collecting strange and unusual masks. It's been wild. I think it's safe to say I'm something of an authority on rare masks. Festival masks. Tramp masks. Drama and religious masks. Rod masks. Dance masks. Mask gumbo. Death masks from ancient tombs. And that's it. A man's desire to change his face to assume a strange and <clears throat> frightening disguise, to impersonate his gods, or to frighten devils, is a desire older than the history of He's life. reading this. I've seen masks unearthed from the ruins of crumbling tombs, and masks hanging in exotic temples to ward off evil spirits. And goofy ghosts. But nowhere in all my travels have I seen anything to compare to the power of this mask. The Misfits logo. And the horrible cursed bay. No, no. This is the mask around which our story revolves. And I can tell you that even though I'm not superstitious, I wouldn't put it on for all the wealth of the Indies. Or a Klondike bar. This mask was part of an ancient ritual so unearthly, so terrifying, it has been wiped out of the memory of man. Like entourage. Still, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Evil. Still, the dreadful power clings to this mask. Try fabric softer. You in this theater are especially privileged to join in seeing the terrifying sights that can only be seen through the mask. Who, me? Each of you has been given a mask. For free? When you see the mask put on in the picture, you put yours on too. Good. Then you will share an adventure into the darkest, hidden recesses of the human mind. Well, Shazam! You will see dread and secret desires lurking in that darkness. Oh. You will see things never before seen on any screen. <clears throat> Soon, you will meet Dr. Alan Barnes, who meets his other self when he puts on the mask. But spoilers! Then you will begin to follow the threads that weave themselves into this gripping story. Soon you will see him put on the mask. Remember, when he puts on his mask, you put on yours. Sign me up! It is the beginning of the ancient and forbidden ritual of the mask. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Not my Richie! No! Ah, the weirdo kid in school who smelled like sauerkraut. Come on, you said you like Steely Dan. Name three of your favorite songs from them. Oh, okay, maybe just tell me which album did Chevy Chase play on then. You don't know, do you, Poser? I may have me. I came to get you, Barbara. Oh, Tannenbaum. Down low, too slow. Maybe I'll go a little crazy when Mom brings home fudge. Avenge me, true crime podcast. I've told you, Mr. Raven, the doctor will be with you shortly. Could you call him again, please, and tell him that I'm here? I can't disturb him while he has a patient. You know that, Mr. Raven. Another victim of fun-sized Wolverine. Here's Doctor! Ba -da -ba -ba -da. Hello, my friend. Ba -da -ba Why'd you come in? Sorry, we had to bump you last night. Charo was on, and you know how she gets. You've been served, Dr. Gravenstock. Oh. Sit down, Michael. On the floor, unless you finally conquered your chair phobia. <laughs> Cut couch! You deliberately kept me waiting up there, didn't you? Of course I did, Michael. Your face, what happened to you? I don't know. We've all gotten drunk and shaved with a cat, sure. It was there when I woke up this morning. I'm sorry, but I must draw you. It happened again last night. What happened again last night? The sun went down. It's no use talking to you. Mm. I got paid either way, me compadre. All right, Michael. I don't know. It's like... Line. So mixed up. Uh, I'm like a can of Sherwin-Williams, Doc. It's like a nightmare. I remember a girl... Is this the 3D part? Is this what... Do I put the... 
and my hands were on her throat. Let me stop you right there. I think I killed her. Okay, it's, it's okay. I know a guy. Pack a bag of 10 grand. Your new name is John Arbuckle. You're going to manage a cinnamon in Denver, and I hope you like cats. Can you tell me anything more about this dream? What about these? Did they happen in a dream? Don't kink shame. They could have been self-inflicted while you were asleep. With Selena Kyle. Can't you understand this is not just another case of neurosis or psychosis? Banana fana fofosis. This is a living nightmare. And you don't want to help me. <laughs> well, you got me there. <laughs> Michael, of course I want to help you. But you have to help too. I'm cursed. Wow, a literal five o'clock shadow. I am cursed. If therapy isn't working, try bangs. Something you don't seem to be able to understand. Michael, you are a scientist. Not a doctor. Now, is it scientific to jump to the conclusion that these nightmares are caused by a curse? Perhaps these nightmares are caused by some deeper emotional conflict. Hey, you got your Carl Jung in my Lovecraft. Well, you got your Neil Gaiman in my Freud. I need help. I, 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 I'm like an addict. I'm addicted to you. It's as if I were being hypnotized. Hypnotized? Well, who is hypnotized? Biggie, biggie, biggie. The mask. Mask. I heard they called him Cuban Pete. The what mask? The king of the rumba Pete? How does it hypnotize? Does it go a chick, chicky boom? Exactly. What is this mask? The mask is to blame. You're just not aware of its power. It's toxic mask, Ulinity. Tell me more about it. But Michael, remember. It's not yet clear that the mask is responsible for the symptoms you describe. But even without the mask, you may continue having these nightmares. Until you defeat Freddy Krueger. But let's start with the mask. I'm glad this movie's not a drinking game. Show it to me. Excuse me? Why do you want me to show it to you? Why not? If it's causing you all this anguish. You want me to give it to you? Are we talking about the same thing here, or...? You want it for yourself? You want it too? What would I do with it? Greek theater. You'd put it on. You'd find out. But don't worry, I won't let you have it. Michael, I don't want the mask. But if you show it to me, we might see that the nightmares could come from within you, and not from the mask at all. You don't believe me. I have told you the truth, and you don't believe me. Would you believe you? The nightmares come from the mask. You can't handle the mask. Doctor, you're a fool. I had a therapist off task, Rabbit. What was I thinking? Michael, come back. I'm sorry I called you cuckoo banana balls. Oh. What happened, Dr. Bond? Something wonderful. I'm worried about Mr. Raiden. He's very disturbed. Oh, he's down with the sickness. Shall I call his parents? Yes, call that grown man's parents right away. No. No, I think. Oh, great. More of your poetry. Well, it's time you went home, Miss Goodrich. We let the doctor do the worry. All right. But I'm not that fragile. Ow! Oh, wow. Oh, don't, don't, don't. You could do with some rest yourself. You look kind of tired, too. You look tired, too, if you were Batman. And I mean, I'm normal man. Yes. Yes, it's been one of those 48 hour days. Good night. <laughs> 